there's less than five days to go to pick up your own limited quantities craft kit that I put together. If you've been waiting for the right time, don't hesitate too long because sales end this weekend. In this box, you're going to be getting exclusive pieces, especially a handmade mold made by me, where you can cast a figure and then customize it in however way you want. And if you want to watch some amazing artists and crafters do things with it, I will leave their links down below, but I also leave the link to Smart Arts website to pick up yours today. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com at Nerdy Crafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Hey Greens and welcome to Nerdy, Nerdy Adventures. Adventures! Today we're going to be trying weird Japanese gummy toy food kits. I know I'm saying it like I'm skeptical, but when am I ever positive? I'm just so full of negative. According to some comments, apparently. Today we're going to be testing out four weird Japanese candy kits. Japanese candy kits are an extremely popular thing in Japan and here in North America they're really pricey. I can, I've can i seen them anywhere from $6 to about $8 to $9 each. Whereas in Japan you can find them in grocery stores for about $0.79. Cents. And the idea is you can actually make your own different mini foods that are sweet for the most part like these kinds of sushis that you can see here. Here, they're all sweet. Or if you're really adventurous, you can make savory candy kits. They're not even candy, they're just savory foods like this hamburger one. Oh my god, it actually legitimately tasted like a mini McDonald's. No cap. These kits range everything from an absolutely weird, odd, somewhat transparent gummy ball. I mean, just look at the packaging. And then we have a make your own gummy with different colors. It's almost like a, an artist's palette. Looks really interesting and I can't wait to try that one. They're all very weird, but this one also really, all of them have my attention. You could make animals with balls of uh, jelly. So it kind of looks like that paint by number kind of craft that I did in previous videos as you can see here on the screen. But this time we're painting by balls. <laughs> oh my god, this, there's no way of saying this right. Painting by gummy balls candy thing. <laughs> And we also have a kit that I'm not quite sure what it is, but I think it turns powder into a foam and we can pull that foam out of the water. I say skeptically with no knowledge whatsoever, but you and I, we gonna find out together. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these kits do you think is going to be the most tasty versus which one is going to be the most gross. I personally think the one that's going to be the most gross is this one. I have no faith in this one because it looks foamy and gross, but I could be wrong. And I actually think these balls are going to be delicious. I know what I said. <laughs> For those of you new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click to the all notifications. Otherwise, I can threaten you with sharp pointy things. They're empty threats, but they're there nonetheless. Also, if you're interested to see all the other types of Japanese candy kits that I have tested out, I will leave a link down below. And I also want to say a huge thank you to the grains in Japan who sent these kits over. And so our first victim, weird clear jelly ball. Even though my Japanese is absolutely terrible, I love the fact that they give us very simple pictures that we can just use and follow, especially the instructions in the back of this packet. So without further delay, we gonna cut it. And, ooh. Normally I would throw this, but I need the instructions, so we don't need this flap. Bye -bye. We get three packs of powder, two stirring contraptions, and our container. For craft kits that are under $3, they really do give us everything we need. So first things first, we're going, oh, this is a little bear. That's cute. I hadn't noticed that until now, so our little container has like this bear shape. Yeah, it's a bear shape. We're going to separate all the pieces from each other with our scissors. Voila. So these packets here are both the soda flavor and then we have grape flavor. I love grape flavored things. And this is supposed to be like the magic solution that solidifies our actual gummies. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to fill these little containers with water until that fill line right here. Not that much water actually. It's like three, three scoops of this one. I also went ahead and filled this one, but first let's mix these. And let's start with grape. Oh my god, I love grapes so much. Take a nice healthy sniff. 
Ooh. Smells like that gum that is very superficial and definitely not good for you, hubba bubba, in grape flavor. Oh my god, I love these. Well, I loved them when I was little. And we gonna stir, 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 stir. So we're technically supposed to stir until, until there are no more lumps and bumps. Oh my god, grains, if you can smell this. Legitimately like grape crush or grape juice, I guess. Same thing. It just smells really of grapes. Let's give it a little taste. Oh wow, definitely grape jello. Oh my god, this is- can I just drink this? No. Come on, don't be difficult. I said no. Oh come on! Listen or I'm gonna wave a sharp pointy thing. Fine. And now for Japanese soda flavor. The best way I can describe Japanese soda flavor is kind of like a lemony Sprite or 7-Up flavor, but much more light. But it has like this fruity undertone to it. I sound like a snob. <laughs> Look at my soda, not wine glass, it's grape soda. Look at my grape soda glass here, I'm fancy. I know my undertones. <laughs> Oh, this one has no smell. Maybe it'll activate better in the water. So let's pour that in and do a nice stirry stirry. I don't think I'm gonna manage to not get a single clump, but we're gonna do our best here because the best is all we could do at this time. Oh wow, that smells good. All right, so this is as good as it gets. Let's do have a little taste, why don't we? Mmm, smells better than it tastes. I think I prefer the grape one. It has like this snotty texture to it I'm not a fan of. And now for the magic science-y water. They say that science, when it's very advanced, is indistinguishable from magic. That's an actual quote. I have no idea who said it, but it's a thing. I'm not thinking this is going to have any kind of scent or flavor. <laughs> Nothing. All right, and we're gonna mix it in the water and we're gonna stir it. Oh, it smells fruity, kind of pineapple-y. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, definitely it tastes like a fruit juice. Now it's the time to make our little jelly balls. And according to the instructions, we put a little bit of this kind of watery thing for our liquid. Wait, let me check again. I'm getting nervous, hang on. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, I actually got it that quickly. <clears throat> Okay, so a little bit of water here. We pour our mixture inside. We bring it into the container and we do little swirls like this, little circles, and then drop. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did a little ball! Oh my god, it's so cute! Hello, little ball. Oh, oh, very nice. Okay, let's make a few of them. Let's try with the blue one. This reminds me of the slimy gloop slime that we did in a previous video where it's not edible, but it's basically making pimply type slime balls. It's the same process. Okay, let's put a little here and we're gonna pour it. You have to admit that Japanese products are really helpful because we have a little nozzle here so we can pour like so, bring it into the water, do little circles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and release. Oh, that one has a little bit of a tip. That's okay. I'm just gonna make a couple more. <laughs> so I went ahead and did three of each. Now, it does say to kind of hold it. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. If this isn't the cutest little sphere gummy, I don't know what is. Am I supposed to hold it right away? Let's try it. Oh, 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 very delicate. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that! It's see-through. Oh, it's so delicate. I can barely feel like I'm holding it. Look at that. A nice little rounded ball. And I'm guessing it's supposed to burst with your mouth because the outside is jellified and the inside is supposed to kind of just pop. And here's a little bit of a close-up. You can see it's just so delicate. It's almost like when you remove the skin from the grape and you have just the inside part of it. And that's basically how it feels. All right, let's see. Mm. It burst! Oh wow! Holy carp! I have goosebumps right now! Holy shrimp! That was a really good mouthfeel. Don't take this out of context. I know what I said, and that's not what I meant. This is really good! Grains, oh my god, if you can get this. Let's go ahead and try the pink one, and let's gently pick it up, and look at it. Oh my god. Transparent. Very cute. Smack it. I know, I'm self-entertaining. Okay, ready? Mmm. Wow, this is really good. I can't describe it. Let me show you. All right, let's pull out the biggest purple one right here. And let's put it on this plate like so. And for this purpose, I'm going to take a toothpick and just poke it like a little bite. So you can see that the outer layer, oh my God. We might need two. There. Okay, I'm gonna just 
press down and there you go you can see that the outer layer has a nice solid feel to it and the inside is just gooey so in your mouth you have two different textures you have this gooey texture here and then you have this hard shell that you bite into well hard shell this delicate shell that gives you a nice mouthfeel this is really good this is really good holy carp this kit for me nine on ten i highly recommend you try it and i'm pretty sure i've seen a similar type of kit again they're usually between 78 cents to about three ish dollars so most of these kits are under three dollars oh it's so good on to the next one paint palette gummy maker this one looks really fun because in addition to actually getting different colors you learn a little bit of color theory since the back of the packaging basically tells you what color combinations give you what and it tells you what colors are what flavors and what combinations give you what flavors so we have soda and grape will give you grape soda and so on and so forth i have a feeling i may have done a kit similar to this at some point but i just don't remember so Oh, that smells good. No, that was just my nose. I don't smell anything. And here we go. Oh, very cute. We have a dolphin gummy mold, some kind of sail, a musical note, a whale, and our little fork. The value in these things is absolutely ridiculous in a good way. I'm guessing this is going to be our base. Here we have our three colors, a little dropper, and our whole palette. Okay, let me check the instructions. Actually, first, Again, the instructions are super clear, so all we have to do is basically take our dropper here, fill it up with water, and then fill it up until this line over here, the first line. Oh, almost. So I went ahead and did that, and then I mixed the colored powders into the little compartments, each with its own little color. Now, I don't think we can taste it with a fork, so we're gonna try with a little spoon from the previous kit, just a little bit like this very lemony i like that i think this one was supposed to be grape but i could be wrong no it tastes like grape but oh what is that Ew. <laughs> Ew. yeah it has an extra synthetic taste i know this is not real but the previous one had a nice grape flavor this one is just like Ugh. i don't like it that one bit and the blue one is supposed to be soda oh <coughs> 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 <laughs> Gross! What's wrong with this kit? Why does it taste like crap? So it has an extra synthetic flavor. The other kit with the little bubbles that pop, that one was delicious. It was not real. It was definitely fake and synthetic. Like, I feel like I'm licking a piece of metal. Here's a piece of metal, and I'm just doing like... Kind of thing. I don't, I don't like it. But either way, let's go ahead and do the color combinations. Let's make our orange. We're gonna take a little bit of yellow here take a little bit of red put it here and then let's go ahead and make a green i have to say the colors look really nice yeah that look that that definitely looks good and apparently we can make a brown so we're gonna take a little bit of blue a little bit of red in here and then a little bit of yellow look at that we can actively see the color change in real time that is pretty awesome oh we haven't made our purple let's go ahead and take some of our red there and our blue voila yeah, look at that. That is so pretty. Just because something looks pretty doesn't change the fact that it tastes gross. Just saying. <laughs> I don't think I need more colors in this. This is quite good. And I'm going to put our base according to the instruct. Let me check again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we put our sandy type base in here. Basically, we need a nice even ground. This even ground is going to be more stable than me. You heard it. I wish we had put this down first because now I just want to shake it, but no. And because I like to taste and put everything in my mouth at least once, you never know if you don't try. I'm going to see if this actually tastes like anything or if it's just sugar. Oh, that's a weird taste. It's almost like a little bit of citric acid and something else I can't quite put my finger on it. So let's start with a little dolphin. So we're gonna put it right here, like so. And I kind of want a multi-colored dolphin, but let's start with blue because that's the traditional color that we would go with. I'm really curious how this is going to actually turn into a solid. Here, let's go with a little red, purple because why not? A little bit green, brown, and you know what? What the heck? Let's end with blue again. Kind of color sandwich. 
voila. Now it says to wait 60 seconds. All right, so the instructions basically say that I should be able to, oh, lift this right off. Okay, and using the fork, I can gently push it right out. Don't go down swinging, my little one. This is scary. Oh, it's loose. I'm guessing the reason we have extra powder on the side is probably because I didn't push the mold far enough into the actual powder. But this is our first attempt and it's actually looking pretty good. So let's use the whale. It's right here and push it. There you go. That's all the way down. So I'm basically just going to take some colors here and there because that's what I want to do. I'll be going to wait 60 seconds. I may or may not have gone overboard. Oh my god, I hope it absorbs. I definitely went overboard with this one. Will it still come out? Is it Jackie proof? That's a good question. And oh, it somewhat was gonna come off. Well, I dropped my fork and that's the end of it. Okay, so we're gonna push this right out. This is very powdery. I can't see this being delicious. Let me pull out the crust. <laughs> Oh no, there we go. Let's just pull up the crust. Nobody likes them crusties. So I think it's only fair to start with the dolphin because it is the first one that we made. Can we remove this crust? It's kind of embedded into it. And it's turned into this really hard gummy type of texture. And as you can see, it's pretty flexible. Let's see if it breaks. Not quite, look at that. It's not broken. Okay, let's tear it apart. Oh, okay, hang on. Okay. Okay, this tastes way better with that extra powdery thing that we put it into. That awkward synthetic flavor disappeared entirely. I'm not even joking. And here's my wet gummy. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a little wet, kind of weird. A little crunchy also. It doesn't have a nice mouth feel, but it doesn't taste bad. So yeah, this kit definitely worked and surprised me because the raw material was like really gross, but it's actually really fun. I would give this probably a 6.8 on 10. Maybe a seven. Okay, let's, let's go with seven. And now the weirdest candy kit ever. This one, I have no idea what it's supposed to be, but it looks like you can turn it into a stringy type licorice thing, I say, questionable. I'm not sure if we're actually making those string candies. Here it is on the screen. You can roll it up and it's just long. It looks like a shoelace, like a flat shoelace. And those are some of my favorites because you could just eat it while it's dangling. Because it seems from the instructions themselves that the powder is pulled upwards and it creates this kind of candy. But I don't know. I'm just saying we go try it. Voila. Oh, that's way more powders than I anticipated. We have grape uh, and... I don't know what else. We get the pulley mechanism, which needs to be like so. There it is. We get a cute little fork and then our workstation with two sides of mold and we get the tiny measuring cup that is included in the kit. Do we just pull it out? Yeah, I didn't even need scissors for that. Okay. So I think I understand it. The instructions are a little wonky for me. So on the left side, we should be able to put water and then the blue packet. And then on the right side, we're supposed to put the orange packet and one scoop of water. Let's get that done first. I'm really curious what they taste like. I'm guessing as usual, blue is going to be soda in Japan. Wait, am I supposed to put water first? Yeah, water first. Okay, let's pour some water. Oh, oh no, oh boy. Okay, here's our water. We definitely did not need water here. Clean up on aisle four. It's gonna suck up enough. Oh, I really did put a lot of water. <laughs> oh, no. I got this, I got this. Let's get a little dab of that. Yep, it's the soda, but it doesn't have that weird synthetic flavor to it. All right, let's pour that in here. And we will stir. Oh, it's green. And for some reason, I couldn't get rid of all the chunks. I feel like a fork is not good enough. But as I said, these things seem to be Jackie proof because you can mess up and still get a good piece of result. <laughs> all right, now for the orange packet. What does it smell like? Cotton candy. What does it taste like? It tastes like burning. What is that? Oh, it's fizzing in my mouth. Oh, that's it's burning. <coughs> okay, it has this orangey taste to it. Voila. And now we take one scoop of this water here. Voila. And it should fizz. That's what the instruction said. So go ahead and do your thing. Oh my god. Okay, look at the real time. Oh my god. Grains, do you see this? This is fizzing. It's like foam. I hate foam texture. 
Oh, gross. It's like whipped egg whites. If ever I go to a restaurant and someone makes something with foam, like, I don't know, puree foam of carrot, is gross. For me, the foamy texture is that one texture I'm not okay with. Let's just go for it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> More goosebumps. <coughs> oh, I don't like this one bit. Wow, this is so gross. Look at that. It really is just this foamy grossness. Hear that? Gross. I'm gonna eat it because I'm doing it for you. So make sure you put a thumbs up to let me know that you like me suffering. <laughs> oh, eh, gross. Now for the part we've all been waiting for, which is making that weird stringy type candy or gummy. Voila. And we have to put our straw underneath already. Okay, I have no idea how this is going to work. All right, so our straw is down. We put the grapey thing right on top. It says to put quite a bit, so there we go. And we just pull. Okay, let's see what that's gonna look like. And we pull, oh, oh! What the heck? What is this? We have like this gummy thing. Let me touch it. Oh my goodness. It does not feel like a gummy. It almost feels like a piece of t-shirt fabric. I wonder what t-shirt tastes like. Mm, very powdery. That is weird. You can see that it did solidify around the straw. Can we pull? Oh, I dropped it. Of course I did. <laughs> oh, and there it goes. Dear piece of gummy, you will be missed. Adieu. Fish that sucker right out. Oh my god, it's so gloopy. This is so slimy. Oh, oh, I got I got you. I do not got you. <laughs> oh gosh, this is so hard. Okay, yeah, this is a weird texture. You know this shouldn't be in your mouth, but you do it anyways. I am very quotable today. <laughs> okay, let's do this, but more closer so you grains can see better. So we're going to put our straw down here. We have our powder right on top like so. I don't know how long we're supposed to wait, but I did wait a little bit. And then we just pull upwards like that. Look at that. I wonder if you could just dip it again. Yeah. Now what they recommend that we do is we take our little sheet of grossness and add it to our foamy grossness. And we're technically supposed to eat them together. I don't know who decided that was a thing, but we're gonna put slimy and foamy together. Oh no. So here's what this monstrosity looks like. <laughs> Ew, it crunches and foams all over my mouth. No, no. <coughs> no. Ugh. So I can't say enough how gross this kit is. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I'm burping this up. No bueno. Is it fun? Absolutely yes, but it's gross on so many levels. I mean, if you want to try it at like 78 cents in Japan, they're probably more expensive in North America, but if you ever can grab these super cheap, definitely go for it. But for me, this is going to get a two on 10 max. This next one here scares me the most because it seems like there's quite a few steps to create these little tiny balls of gummy. But also like we're putting a kind of powder on top. So we have to make colors, we have to make tiny jellies and then add those jellies and then add them. It almost feels like a combination of the first kit we made, which is basically making those tiny little ball things. And the second kit, which is putting a layer of kind of powder to hold it all together. But on this channel, we don't let anything intimidate us, especially not craft kits that don't have our language. That's, that's not something that scares us. And what do we get? Oh. That's some cute molds. So we have a kind of jellyfish, a really traumatized dolphin. It's seen some things. A fish and a starfish. Starfish really does give me creepy vibes though. Come here, I'm gonna get you. Oh, yeah, I knew the starfish scared me. We get one big pack of powder and four itty bitty packs. Oh my God, that's what I'm telling you, Grains. This is intimate. Look at all this workstation. We have the flower, we have this, we have, I'm guessing, colors. We have a dropper and a spoon. That's a lot of stuff. Let's go one step at a time. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to cut out that little container piece, mix in the packet that looks like rainbow with water, and then pour that water mixture into the flower looking thing. I'm really curious what this tastes like because it smells like soda. Yeah, tastes like soda. This lemony, lemony fruity flavor. And it's, again, it's similarly to the second kit we did, we're going to mix water with our colored powders. Let's have a taste. And blue, tastes like soda. It's like everything tastes like soda. Red, like soda? 
And how about yellow? Come on. Pineapple. Ooh, like a pineapple mango. It's sweet. It's nice. I think yellow is my favorite. And let's go ahead and make a purple. So we're going to add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then we're going to make green. Oh, I think I may have put too much blue. Too late. So our purple is cute. And our green, quite dark. <laughs> Oh no, too much. I'm just gonna trickle it on the other side. There we go. We can make a lighter green now. There. All right, now for the fun part. I mean, so far I was technically intimidated, but what we have to do is we're going to take a color and be about three centimeters high from the liquid and drop in here and it should make... Oh, hang on. I need to bring your grains closer. So we have a little ball over here. Let's do that again. Oh, whoops, too much on the side. There you go. Look at that. That is so fun. All right, let's do the other colors. Here's purple. This is looking really cute. This is really fun. Let's get blue over here and drop. I don't have to wait too long. I thought maybe they would merge at some point, but no, look at that. And for yellow, now I'm just getting confidence. Look at that. <laughs> Last but not least, let's go with green. All right, now we should be able to just scoop up those little tiny balls with the little spoon and place them on the mold. And they should only be one layer according to the instructions, like so. Oh wait, we need different eye colors. Get over there. <clears throat> this dolphin has obviously seen things. We're gonna make the red eye. It, there you go. <laughs> this is really fun. Just need to scoop those balls out and put them down. This is really fun. Now we're going to spink, sprinkle, oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> that little powder that we got and then put more of that greenish water on top and now we wait. All right, now for the moment of truth, we should be able to unmold, oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, that came out really easily. That is pretty good. There's definitely some spots that are just, oh, wait, there, that explains it. Some of the balls stayed by <laughs> this, there's no way to other say it. Some of the gummy jelly round things definitely stayed in place, so there's some casualties. But overall, it is really cute. Let's go ahead and taste and see what it's like. It should be basically a combination of both. And, mm, mm, this is really fun. The little gummies also have this little jelly that bursts into your mouth. And then the base of this one is basically like the bottom part of those shark gummies. Like they have this white underbelly and it's kind of like that. There's a little crunch to it though, but not like you're eating sand. It's much more subtle. This is really fun. This is probably my favorite kit of all four. I would say 9.5 because the other colors just taste like soda and only the yellow tastes like pineapple. So we need a difference in flavors. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon. For those of you who don't know Raycon, first of all, they are huge supporters of this channel. But secondly, they are my favorite earbuds out there. Not only do they look absolutely adorable, look at the many, many colors you can get. They sound absolutely absolutely phenomenal and only starting about half the price of other premium brands. They don't stick out, they don't dangle, and they're so comfortable, oh my god. And look, I'm trying to shake them out and they're not shaking out because they come in so many different sizes that fits your ear just beautifully. On top of that, they have a 32 hour battery life, which means you can listen for longer on the go. So whether you're into working out, listening to audiobooks, or even crafting, or a salty crafter does sometimes watching TikToks at night, Raycon has you covered. And if for any reason you're hesitating, Raycon has a 45 day free return policy, which means they focus on you to make sure that you're happy with what you get. So what are you waiting for? So many of you grains here have already told me how much you love your Raycons. Check the link down below by raycon.com forward slash nerdy crafter to get your own pair and 15% off your order. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video. If you want to watch more Japanese kits, I made a playlist for you right here. Check them out. And if you want to watch something a little craftier, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.